The topic which I'd like to discuss uh, tonight is <coughs> the shaila of whether a bris mila, which is shalobizmana, it's, it's being performed later than the eighth day, whether it can be done on yomtiv sheni shalgolius, or even more specifically, <coughs> the when it's a suffolk, suffolk bizmana, suffolk is it the eighth day or is it not the eighth day? Could that be done in Yotav Sheni Shogolius? So, just to be mocked him, like every other sugi in Shas, it's a sugi with a lot of Amkus and a lot of Svaras and a lot of Malkam to be Ma'ayin and to be Maimik and be Mafalpel. And I'm just going to try to give a little overview of some of the Svaras that are said and what the Halacha Lemaisa uh, that the post can say. <coughs> so, background the very ba- basic building blocks, we know that the mitzvah of Mila involves Malacha Daraisa. Every time a person does a mila, he is doing that which is a malacha deraisa on Shabbos. <coughs> no, nevertheless, if it's the eighth day, then it's motor to do. It's docha Shabbos. The Pasik says of a yom shmini yimal basar alasa, but yom shmini after you Shabbos, as long as it's the eighth day. However, if it's not the eighth day, if it's past the eighth day, then it's usher. One is not allowed to do a mila on Shabbos if it's a mila shalom is man, a past eighth day. Who are they in Yomtif? On, on Yomtif, the first day of Yomtif, one is not allowed to do Pashit, even if it's a va, if it, uh, you know, on, if it's a Mila Shalom Zmana, or even if it be a Suffolk, by Shabbos, by Yomtif Rishon, even if it's a Suffolk Zmana, it might be the eighth day, it might not be, it can't be, it can't be done on Shabbos or on Yomtif Rishon. The question is, is there any difference about Yomtif Sheni Shal Is there a heter to do a bris mila shalob mana or where it's a suffix mana suffix shalob mana on yantu sheni shalgalius. So the shaila begins with a mishnah. There's a mishnah mesech shabbos on parak remilezid the mila daf kuflam et zayin, where the mishnah says that it, a bris mila could be done kat and nimo l'shmona l'tishal l'asar l'chadasar liyud beis l'pachas v'lyoser. The gemara the mishnah says that a bris mila is sometimes done on the eighth day. That's the normal case where it's mila bismana, whether it's Shabbos, weekday, if it's the, if it's the eighth day, the bris is done. When is it Tisha, nine days, the case of the baby, baby's born, Bein HaShemashes, Bein HaShemashes, any day of the week, on a Monday night, a baby's born, Bein HaShemashes, between Monday and Tuesday. So it's a suffix, was he born on Monday, and the bris should be, mo- is Monday the eighth day? Or is Tuesday the eighth day? So we can't take a chance on doing a bris early. A bris could always be done late, but it can't be done early. So we push it off to the second, to the later day. So if the baby's born Monday, Ben Hashemash is going into Tuesday, the bris is done the following week on Tuesday, which the, Gemara, the Mishnah calls Tisha. That's the ninth day, meaning because Monday might be the eighth day. Tuesday's already the ninth day. The bris is done the ninth day. Where is it a case of 10? When the baby was born on a Friday. Erev Shabbos, going into Shabbos. Then again, we can't do the bris on Friday, day eight. We can't do the bris on Shabbos either, day nine, because since it might not be the Zman, it might be too late. It could be Friday was the Zman. So you, it's a Suffolk. You can't do it with me Suffolk on Shabbos. So it's pushed, pushed off till Sunday, which is already <clears throat> uh, which is already day 10. Then what happens if, however, the, the following week, their Sunday is Yom Tif? So you can't do the bris. It's already it's vade shalobizmana. It's 
Tzvadish Lebezmanu, because this baby was born on a Friday or Shabbos. He definitely wasn't born on Sunday or Monday. So you can't, but you can't do the bris on Sunday because it's Yom Tif. So if it's a one day Yom Tif, you, you, you don't do it that day, you push it off to the next day. And then, Uli Yud Beis, let's say it's, it's, what is the case where you push it off even another day? So the Mishnah says, when it's two days of Rosh Hashanah, when the baby was born on Shabbos, or Friday, Friday night going into Shabbos, Suffolk Friday, Suffolk Shabbos, the following week, Shabbos is followed by two days of Rosh Hashanah. So you can't do the bris on Friday, you can't do the bris on Shabbos, you can't do the bris on Sunday, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, and Zach the Mishnah, you cannot do the bris either on the next, the second day of Rosh Hashanah, because since it's a Mila, which is Shalob Ismana, it cannot be done on the second day of Rosh Hashanah. So the, the Rosh Hashanah want to know, does the Mishnah mean Davka Rosh Hashanah? Or did the Mishnah just pick Rosh Hashanah as an example of a two-day Yantif and who had in any two-day Yantif? Or no, is there, is there specifically Rosh Hashanah, but if it would be a different two-day Yantif, then you could do it on the second day. So this is Machlokas Rishon, the Rambam here, the Perish of Mishnayis, and that's the way Pashan is in Mishnah Torah, says that the Mishnah picked Rosh Hashanah Bedavka. It's only Rosh Hashanah because the two days of Rosh Hashanah we consider to be a Yuma Arichta, Kedusha Chada. It's one long Kedusha. Legabe, many, most Halachas, we consider it like one. And any Kulas that we give on the, first, on the second day of, of a different Yantiv, we do not give on the second day of Rosh Hashanah with the exception of Kvur HaMais. But Bader Klal, we're not making the second day of Rosh Hashanah. Anything we can't do the first day of Rosh Hashanah, we can't do the second day of Rosh Hashanah. So maybe you can't do a meal, Shalom Ismana, you can't do the second day of Rosh Hashanah. But the second day of a regular Yantiv, second day of Yantiv Shei Shal Goliath in, in Chutz Laaretz, Sunk the Rambam that you could do, even though it's a meal of Shalom Ismana, Vadi Shalom Ismana, you could do it the second day of Yantiv. That's the Psaka of the Rambam. However, the Rush and the Tshuva Paskins Fakert, the Rush Paskins that even Yantav, it's Lav Davka Rosh Hashanah, the Tana picked Rosh Hashanah because Tana buries Yisrael Koi. He was giving a case, which is Nogea around, the, even in Eretz Yisrael, they, they don't have Yantav Shani Shogolius. So he gave a case, even in Eretz Yisrael, you could have a case where you can't do the bris till day 12. But in Chutz you have many more cases. It could be Pesach, Shuvah, and Sukkis besides Rosh Hashanah. That's the Psak of the Rush, which the tour brings down. And that's how the Mechaber Paskins, the Mechaber Reis Samachvav Paskins, that a Misha Nolad Ben Ashmasha, Su Safak Yom Safak Laila, Mona Min Alayla, Vinimala Chi, said, said, Vim Nolad, Ere Shabbos Ben Ashmasha, Enidoch is a Shabbos, Enidoch is a Shabbos, Enidoch is a Shabbos, Vichain Enidoch is a Yom Tev Misafak, Vafilu Yom Tev Shani Shal Goliath. Before Shin the Mechaber, Paskins like the Chuva, and it says, Tur, Mishem Chuva Sarash. Paskins that even Yom Tev Shani Shal Goliath, you do not do the Mila. The Shach, it's Cholik L'Halacha. It's Cholik with the Mechaber. The Shach says, the Rambam is not a Das Yachid. Here the Rambam who says that you could do it. On Yotav Sheni Shogolius, you could do it, even if it's Shlob is mad. It's not a Das Yachid. There are other Rishon in the Paskin like the Rambam. And the Mela, the, uh, <coughs> the Smag Paskin like the Rambam, the Kolba Paskin like the Rambam. So that's the Hachra, the Shach. The Shach Paskin is Halacha L'Maisa. You do do it. You would do the bris on the second day of Yontif Sheni Shel Golis, even if it's Vade Shalob Isman. Okay. So most posts can pass in here that we go with the Mechaber, the the and the Chsam Sofer, and all the contemporary posts that I've seen there. Everyone says we don't pass in like the Shach, we pass in like the Stimus and Mechaber, which is the sheet of the Rush, and the Ramah is not Cholik here with the Mechaber. And um, so Kimat, everybody, other than the Shach, Paskins that if it's Vadai Shalob Ismana, the bris is not done even in Yotav Shani Shagolias. The question is, though, what happens if it's a suffix Shlob Meaning to say, the case of the Mishnah where the baby's born on a Friday night and then it's Shabbos is followed by two days of Yantif, that's Vadi Shlob By the time you get to the second day of Yantif, it's Vadi Shlob because the Zman was either Friday or Shabbos and we're talking about Monday. But what happens if a baby's born in a case like that, where next he's born on between two days, uh, Mash is between, and he, so let's say this case between Sunday night and Monday night, and Yantif, and Yantif next week is Sunday, Monday. So the baby's born Sunday night going into Monday, where next week, Monday, might be the Zman, might not be. It's a suffix. What's the Zman? Is Sunday the Zman, the first day Yantif, which you can't do the bris then because it's a suffix, but the second day of Yantif also might be the Zman. It's a suffix. It might, it might be the Zman. He might, be, might have been considered born at night. So what about that case? Does the Psak of the Machaber and, the, and all these other posts can be said, does that include even the case of suffix or no? Now, really, the, the Lush of the Mechaber is, very, is almost uh, Mephorish, that it includes even Safi, because the Mechaber says, when he, ta- he talks about Shabbos, and he talks about Yom, he says, V'chein eino docha yomtif mi Safi. It's not a bris, 
is not docha yantif mi suffix, meaning if it's a suffix, whether it's day eight or day nine, it's not docha yantif, vafilu yantif shenishagalia. So it sounds like he's saying that even a, a suffix, even if it's a suffix, it might be this man, it's not docha even yantif shenishagalia. However, here the postcom already are very, very bothered. Here they do not, uh, whereas by the case of Avadai, they're right behind the Machaber and defending him all the way, you know, the, the whole, the whole <coughs> you know, La Lacha Mice against the Shach. But when it comes to Suffolk, the Puskim of the very bothered. In fact, the Dogma Revava, the Dogma Revava, the Dogma the Gilead of the Shulchan Aruch, says he doesn't understand. Why should there then be any Suffolk, it's us, sir? it's a Sveik Sveika. First of all, the Suffolk, the second, the Yantav, is it, is, it, is it really Yantav or not? We do look at the second, the Yantav as in the guy with certain halachas is suffix, suffix yantif, suffix chol. And even if it's yantif, but maybe it's this man. Today might be Yom Hashmini. It might be the eighth day. So why can't you do the bris be bris- 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 fake? And he says, and I'll show you the Mechaber holds that way. The Mechaber himself, because in Simon Tuft Sadi Zayin, which is the halachas of Yom Sheni, the Mechaber Paskins, when he talks about the halacha of Muchan and suffix Muchan, which means that if you want to be able, you're allowed to shecht on yantif. If you, can, if you want to shecht an animal or kill a fish and eat it on Yomtif, you're allowed to do that. But it has to be mina muchad. I mean, it has to be trapped before Yomtif. You can't trap it on Yomtif. The trapping is usher. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. You can't trap it on Yomtif because trapping is usher. But even if it gets trapped, may a love, even if it gets trapped on its own, you're not allowed to use it. You're not allowed to shecht it and eat it on Yomtif because it's not. It's considered muksa. It has to be muchad. So it says even Suffolk Muchan is Usr, but Zakh the Machaber, Suffolk Muchan Mutter beyond the Shani. Mishum to have a Sveik Sveik, as Mamish Lash the Machaber, Sif Dalit. Suffolk Muchan Mutter beyond the Shani, Mishum to have a Sveik Sveik. So you see the Machaber, what's the Sveik Sveik? Maybe it's Yamtiv, maybe it's Chol, and even if it's, even if it's Yamtiv, but maybe it was trapped. We don't know. This animal might have been, you found it in the trap. You're not sure if it got trapped before Yamtiv or after, or, or before Yamtiv or on Yamtiv. So uh, the Machaber says it's Mutter. So So why is this any different? Why can't you do the bris? If it's a suffix manner, suffix manner, it should be a fake fake, it should be mutter to, to do the bris. So says the Dalgam Ravava, well, that maybe the chilik would be that um, that <coughs> over there we're talking about it, this is the Rabban. The whole din of Muchan is only a Durabanan. I mean, I tell you, it doesn't have to be Muchan. I mean, I tell you, you can, if an animal got trapped on Yontif, even Vade happened on Yontif, because in the head you can go ahead and check the need. It's only a dinter abanon that it has to be muchan from before before yomtiv. So there, <coughs> where by it's this dinter abanon, so zok that you like this. Really, really the pre- really the reason why sveik sveika here is not so borrower is because really it's a davashesh lematirin. Davashesh lematirin mean what? You could do an after yomtiv. You could do the bris after yomtiv. <coughs> it's not the end. It's not the only opportunity. You have an opportunity to do it later, and we know typically by davish sheish lematirin something which you have a suffix. Even you have a suffix even in this iser abanan. Suffix iser abanan. <coughs> the the din it would normally suffix suffix lekula, but if it's a davish sheish lematirin, meaning if there's going to be a time later when it's going to be vade mutter, you have to wait till later. You can't rely on a suffix. So says another Behuda, So memela. Maybe that's the pshat why the Machaber Asa is doing the bris even on a sveik sveika, even where it's a sveik sveika, he Asa is doing the bris because even though it's a sveik sveika, that it might be mutter, but it's a davish shlematirin. But when it comes to the dinner muchan, where it's, the whole thing is only an iser derabanan, so a sveik, so we're not machmir an iser derabanan by sveik sveika, meaning a, a suffix, <coughs> a suffix derabanan is usher of its shlematirin, but a sveik sveika. A sveik sveika in the nisa the rabbanon is not usher by davish. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's davish is material. If it's sveik sveika, nisa the you can do it. But a sveik sveika on a daraisa that is usher by davish is material. So zakh not be That would be the pshat that it's a it's a sveik it's a sveik sveika. But that's what he says here in the on the gilin shulchan aruch. And his only ha'ara is that because the mechaber the, the metzai in the rush, and he says the rush. That's, the, the rush doesn't hold it. The, the rush really himself holds that a sveik sveika, even in a daraisa, is mutter by a davish material. The rush holds sveik sveika, even daraisa is mutter. So, so the rush himself would hold you do you would do the bris the second day yontif when it's a suffix. The machaba that's that's drawing on the rush is only the chuvas. The rush is only talking about where it's vadai, not this man. But if it's a suffix, not this man, the rush would say you do the bris. So the machaba is psak. It has 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 a makom that the machaba would be machmer by a sveik sveika. <coughs> in an Issa the Raisa, but it's but it's not the rush. That's what he says here. But in the Chuvis no the Yehuda, he goes further and he's and he he's not even he's not satisfied anymore. Because he's first of all he says 
the Prichadash proves that the Mechaber also, elsewhere, the Mechaber is also Mekel by a Sveik Sveika in an Issa Dera, even in Issa Deraisa. Even a Sveik Sveika in Issa Deraisa, we don't care about Davish Shishim Atir, and that doesn't stop us. Sveik Sveika is Mutter, even in an Issa Deraisa, even when it's Shishim Atir. So the Mechaber himself, it would, it, would, it, would, it would be a steer in the Mechaber. And besides, which is another Behuda, this is not, it's, it's really, the whole thing is a mistake. This is not a Dove Shesh Lamatirin. Why not? Because one of the rules in Dove Shesh Lamatirin is that it's not Chose Isuro, that it's going to become Mutter later, and then it'll be Mutter forever. But if it's going to become Usser again later, then it's not called Dove Shesh Lamatirin. That's one of the Svaris, those who say that Chometz and Pesach is not called Dove Shesh Lamatirin because it's going to be. It's going to be Chosel um, Surah. <coughs> okay, but so, Sagdin Nadi Behut, this is going to be Surah because even though it's going to be Mutter tomorrow when it's Chol, but then it's going to be a Shabbos again and a Yantav again, it's going to be Chosel Surah. It's going to be us to do it next Shabbos and next Yantav. So, Sagdin Nadi Behut, the whole thing was a mistake. The whole Svara to say that this is a Dove Shesh Matirin and that's why it's us, sir. It's a toast. It's not a Dove Shesh Matirin. Memele Sagdin Nadi Behut, I'm afraid that I cannot back the Machaber in this Psak. And I, and the, the din is like it's mutter halacha lemaisa zaknu if it's a sveik sveika meaning it might be this man it might be the yom shmini and even if it's not yom shmini but it might be yom chol second day yom chol so taka therefore on the second day yantiv it's mutter to do a, a bris when it's sveik <coughs> shalob is man and he goes so far to say even rosh hashanah even the second day rosh hashanah if it's a sveik sveik is mana it might be yom shmini. It's a second day Rosh Hashanah even. It's mutter to the bris because it's still only a a dinder a, 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 a sveik. It's a it's a sveik sveika. It's a sveik sveika. It's mutter to do it. And he says, and you know what? Even the mechaber didn't mean to say it differently. Now when the mechaber's lashon says v'chein enu docha yomtef mi sveik, then you have to put a very big comma. And then he says v'afilu yomtef shenish agolias. That's not going back on the word mi sveik. Go back, a feeling of the Shinish Agolius. It's not Docha, where it's Vadai Shlobizman. But if it's a Suffolk, then, then the Machaber would agree. The Machaber never, the never meant to give to indicate that if it's a Suffolk, you can't do it. If, I, if it's a Suffolk, you could do it. So he's like, Pastor, and he'll be who does the Halacha Why is it Okay, so we'll so we'll go right there and say so over some other poskim scene one minute, like you say. <coughs> so, um, so Rabbi Kiv Eger on the Gilead Shulchan Aruch starts off very similar to the Noda Behuda. He's also bothered by the Kasha at Sveik Sveika, and he also points out the Lacha Sveik Muchan. He says Lachar should be Mutal Sveik Sveika, and um, he, even though it's <coughs> even though it's a Davish Shem Matirin, and he said and Zak Rabbi Kiv Eger that. Um, and even if you'll see, is that going to be okay? The mitzvah, the mitzvah, David David Shesh Mitim, the Roy Lahaktim mitzvah. So it sounds very much like, like you were saying the first Taina, the Roy Lahaktim mitzvah. That we're not, we're not going to say, we wouldn't say anyway, David Shesh Mitim, like you're saying, you have a mitzvah to do it today, so I could do it tomorrow, but I'll, I'll lose that on today. So Zach Rabbi Kiveg is it's very schwer even to say, even to say it, I'll David Shesh Mitim. So, um, Kivager seems to come out also. He doesn't, you know, say it as firmly as another Behuda, but he seems to come out not like this Machaber, that the din should be that if it's only a suffix, it's mutter to do it on the second day of Yantif. That's Rikivager. Now, in the Chuvas Chsam Sofer, he also speaks in these terms, and the Chsam Sofer says, I think the second point we heard, that Lechar, it's not Shaykh Dovish Ishlamatir in here, which is maybe that from the Chsam Sofer. Um, one second. Okay, I'm not sure if that's far as some sort of, but uh, definitely in some of the Achonim say the Vart that Bechlal, if there's a suffix, if there's a possibility that today's Yom Shmini, today's this man, that's Ein Lamatirin, like, like Reb David says. For sure, not, tomorrow's for sure not going to be this man. So today there's a possibility that it's this man that's Ein Lamatirin. To chop that possibility of doing Mila Bismana is impossible to do tomorrow. So Bechlal, another Svar, why it should not be considered Yesh Lamatirin. So both those two Svaras. And the Chsam Sofer says Bichlal, <coughs> that when we have a we have a, a mitzvah de raisa to, 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 to do here, so the Suffolk Issa de Rabbanon is not going to stand in its way. And the Chsam Sofer paskins along with the Noda Behuda, clearly that the bris should be done. If it's a Suffolk, Bizman, Suffolk, Shana, Bizman, it should be done the second day of them. Now, there are really two chuvas from the Chsam Sofer. What I just said over is in Simon Reish Nun. 
two siman letters, siman reish nun beis, he, he doesn't pass in this way. He doesn't pass in to do it. But the Pisgah Tshuva points out that if you look at the dates on the Tshuvas, even though they're printed in that order, siman reish nun beis was preceded reish nun by 20 years. The, so the Simon Reish Nun, where he passed his Lamaisa to do the bris, was written 20 years later. And he says, that's the Iker Lacha, that's the, that's the, that's the uh, sheet of the Chassam Sofer, so she do it. So we have the, the, the Behuda Mefurish, Chassam Sofer Mefurish, Kiveger, pretty Mefurish, that the bris should be done. If it's a Suffolk Bismana, Suffolk Shayna Bismana, on the second day, Yontif, it, it should be done. Then there's a. Um, so Rosh Hashanah Zabin Arbach quoted in the Sefer Yom Tov Shani Kilchasa also paskins this way and he adds another svar to, to, to be mocked in the whole thing that B'chalal we're not dealing we're not dealing with the Shail of the there's no Shail of the Raisa here why is no Shail of the Raisa? because me the Raisa we'd say Hoel we'd say Hoel it's muted what's the, what's the Malach of Milas the Chabura it's muted to make a Chabura on Yom if you're allowed to shecht an animal and make Chabura Elamai so, so me the Raisa B'chalal is no Raisa the whole Shail is a Durabanan the Durabanan we're not so much on Hoel alone so the whole Isser B'chalal would only be a Durabanan the Meli says Avado since we're dealing with, with the Shail that it's, the whole Iker Isser is can only is reduced to the Rabbanan. So also, he also passed as you should do it. There's a true if you look in the Mishnah's Rabbaran. Well, well, in, there's, there's like a critzer when you're taking up the skin. Um, so the, the Pazim say that, well, say that la uh, that, that's what. Okay, so you have to mind what, the, what, the, what the, all the malachas are, but you see the man that's only as the board. Shavu l'chol nefesh. I mean, answer why it's not shavu l'chol nefesh. It's a. You say for it's sorry. I mean, there's a special pasuk that ain't sorry from kachim beyantiv. That's a special sakasa. Lemaisa, if you look in the, the mishnah's rabbar and in the tshuva, he has a very very lumdish tshuva. He takes everything we said and he goes. 50 steps deeper and he's he's a mafapal and all the svaras of the chasam soifer and you know is a mekarev and said it's a fascinating tshuva lemaiser rebaron's maskana is that on the second day of Rosh Hashanah you would not do it <coughs> even if it's a suffix mana you would not do it not like the Nod Behuda, but a su- suffix yantav sheni shalgalias he paskins along legabi that with the Nod Behuda and the soifer and and uh, the other achonim we saw and he says that you would do the bris on the on this when uh, on the second day of a as Yom Tashen Shalgalias, there's a tshuva also in the um, in uh, in Ashal Shuz Yabiya Omer from Rabbi Vadi Yosef, where he also he, he brings from the he brings from the Sefer Imre Bina, who says this svara that um, uh, that we said before that Echi Tachin Lakrosa Yesh Lamatirin Rab Mila Bezmana Ein Lashem Heter Achiyat. If it's not Shaykh to do Bezmana afterwards, so he writes a very interesting, interesting lush, and he says. Lachain, this is his lashon. Gam benidan didan sheein hadaver yadu alanu shemaron amad al ikur din zev vehechria daito agdola shlo samchin lahakal pias feisveka, etc. Because it's not klar as the not yibudan tain is that the mechaber mstam never meant to say that. So he says his lashon is yishlomet the bekai gavna ein min aroy lo leches beinayim atzumos. We can't just close our eyes. Velifso kipshat divrei morena shochanar to go the way it seems to be the the the. the the cursory reading of the Shulchan Aruch, Kivin Shah Svara Hayashar Kovash, Suffolk Mitzvah the Raisa, Docha Isso Kaldi Rabban Shiant of Shani. Meachadan became Kvi the Yarcha. So he passes also La Lachal Maisa that one should do it. So we have, so again, we have another beauty of Echsam Sovir, Biki Vega, we have Mishnah Zerbaran, we have Rishlam Azam, we have Rabbi Yosef. We have also in the Sefi Yant of Shani Kokhaza brings from Rabbi Yashiv as well, Rabbi Yashiv as well, Paskin. Again, and they're all Paskining that if it would be a Vadai, no, and Khanami. Well, there we go with the Machaber. We're not gonna pass like the Shah who goes with the Ram. No, we pass like the Machaber. They're all passing like that. When they pass like the Machaber, it's a Vade. But where it's a suffix, they're all willing to say all the posts that I just listed, certainly by Yant of Shane Shagolius, they all say Halachalamaisa, one should do the bris. Now um, <clears throat> I just want to point out before we go to the, <laughs> the before we pull the rug out that um, <clears throat> Lemaisa, not all sveikas are shove. Meaning, wh- what's the whole suffix here? Suffix is the baby was born ben hashmasha. So, uh, which is the eighth day? Because he was born between a, a Sunday and Monday, and Yantif is Sunday and Monday next week. So, is the eighth day Sunday? Is day Monday? Well, halacha Lemaisa, if a baby is born one minute after shkia or even less, and 
We're not going to do, and even during the week, even during the week, a baby's born on a Sunday night, you know, it's no shy of Shabbos or Yom Tif. Baby's born on a Sunday night, one minute after Shkia, you'll, you'll be very, very hard pressed to find any mole that would do the bris on a Sunday. And Rabbi Shazza Chuva says nine minutes, and v'chula v'chula, but halacha l'maisa, it is very difficult to find them all that would do the bris. One, the chazanish held even if the baby's born a couple of minutes before shkia, because we're not, our clacks are not bucky, so we're not, uh, we can't be stomach on our clacks so much, so even a couple of minutes before shkia, you should push it off. Okay, so that, that uh, many won't go with. But once the baby's born, any mashu after shkia, they'll push it off the bris. So, and kol shikain, if it's a shail of yantif, a shabbos of yantif, if the baby's born on a, on a shabbos one minute after shkia, it's going to be difficult to find them all. They'll be willing to do the bris on, on, on Shabbos or, or if it comes out in Yontem. But Mestamba, it's very, very likely that, 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 sh- that Shabbos was this man, right? It's very likely. So in other words, so let's take our case Sunday, Monday. A baby's born a minute after Shkia, two minutes after Shkia, whatever it is. He called them all and he says, sorry, before he looks at the calendar, he just says, oh, Sunday, Sunday, two minutes after Shkia, do the bris next week, Monday. And say, okay, uh, but don't forget, next week, Monday is going to be Yontif. Oh, Yontif, Yontif Sheni. Oh, one second, to Yantav Sheni. So, so say, well, we just heard a shear that we have, uh, whatever, a whole list of Achronim that says Yantav Sheni, so Suffolk do it. But is this really a Suffolk? Even this Suffolk? It's <laughs> most likely the bridge should be on Sunday, not on Monday. So are we going to call, are we going to say Monday is a Suffolk's man or... No, this man really was Sunday, just we're machmer, we're afraid not to do it too early, so we push it off. But is it, is it really, Ramesh Shafaisi in the Chuvah says you should do it Sunday. And, uh, you know, v'chulu v'chulu. So, and, and it's, it's certainly before, Quinter Rabbeinu Tam, it's part, I mean, it's not even, it's not even a shayla. So, a stuff like that, like that, Mastama, you would not, even like these posts, you would not, you would not do it on Monday. It would have to be, Lachar, that the baby is born significantly after Shkia, long, long enough, what that, what that number is, well, you know, we don't have to determine here, and it'll depend where you're living. It's different. The answer in Miami will be different than the answer in New York or other places. <clears throat> How many minutes after Shkia will it be? Will it be considered that it's a a, a, a viable enough suffix that okay? So it comes up. You'll pass the bridge should be done uh, um, uh, Monday. Be shown the second day. Bridge should be done Monday. Yantav shenish legolius suffix mana suffix and mana. We have a whole list of posts behind us. We should do the bris. But lemaisa lemaisa lemaisa. A uh, moel, a moel mumcha many, many years. He said, No, we don't, we would not do the bris, even as a suffix, we would not do the bris in Tibshani. And then I discussed it with uh, Rav Yitzhak Fisher, the moel mumcha from, from Muncie. And he said, Besides the fact that when he learned Mila, he told me he learned in London, and uh, they, they told him, No, they don't do the bris on Yant of Shani, even as a suffix. He told me he had, he, dis- he asked the child to Rav Moshe, he said, Rav Moshe, he asked the Shaila, and Rav Moshe told him, Mir habin kein mol nishkemacht. Never did such a thing. Never did such a thing to do, despite this whole <coughs> um, list of Paiskin that say that way, halacha lemaisa, from what I was able to determine from the Paiskin that I could, could speak to and ask, we're t- tell, telling us that lemaisa, um, you would not do it. Okay, but one last twist. This is all very good if you're living here. In, you, you're a Ben Chutz, You're a Ben Chutz, but you're in Eretz Israel now. Al Das Lachsa, you went to Israel for a year, you're coming back, no Shaila, you keep Yom Tavsheni, but be, be below, moving a Mila, every single connection. You sit in the Sukkah, Yom Tavsheni, like Rabbi Yashiv and the Pashtas and everyone else. You do, I mean, Ashmi Yatzeris, of course, <coughs> and, um, and everything else. But, um, but now you have a Baruch Hashem, you have a baby, a new baby boy, boy born to you, and the bris comes out, uh, he was born, and it comes out, Suffolk, should you do it on the first day, Yantav, Suffolk, the second day, Yantav. So second day, Yantav is going to be a, 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 a Suffolk, Suffolk's mana, Suffolk's love is mana. In Eretz Yisrael, it's Chol. For the Israelis, it's Chol. So Zok, to stay chemed, with shame, with Charles and Shuvis, uh, I think, Vayan, I forget the name of the Sefer, that you, you, an Israeli moral could do it. Yes, an Israeli moral for, who, for whom it's Chol, he's Cholamoy, or Chol, could do the bris, even though the baby is uh, from a, be, you know, a Chutzar, like a Mishpacha, a body could do the bris, and Zok, in the, in the Sefer, uh, Yom Tashen Kilchza, he's... Real is Yes, yes, even, even, sorry, even Shriel Shalazmana, yes. Can you give me Israeli moral to Chutzlar, it's just about to do this? Well, hold on, we can get to that, I'm talking about in Eretz Yisrael so far. In Eretz Yisrael, and Zog, Rabbi Fried says in the Sefer that Rabbi Yashiv told him it's a mitzvah, not just you could, it's a mitzvah, you should do that. Yes, you should do the bris, and Yantav, even, thank you Rabbi Waxman, even Shalom Bismana, it's Yantav Shani, but it's Chol for them, and and ain't Loma that Milsa de Ihu lo by Lameva Shlichusa, if you can't do it yourself, how your Shlich can't do it for you. So Zog, this day, Chemad, that's not schwer. First of all, we don't say that by something where the evidence if you did it, it's, it's good. And also, he says another svara that we don't say that. Um, we don't say that. Uh, sorry, I'm fighting the clock here. 
Midirabanan. we don't say such a, such a svara, so it's a shail of, of a Dirabanan, so you should do it. So that's if it's an Israeli mall. Let's say you can't find an Israeli mall. Why not? But you're never so you can't find an Israeli mall. But you have a good friend who's an American mall. Or you're an American mall. And you have a baby. And it's a second day yantif. But, it's, but I keep second day yantif. I'm going back to America. And I keep second day yantif. So what about then? So then is a machlok is paiskim. Rebel Yash is like, no, you can't do it. I'm sorry. You're, 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 an, you're an American. You can't be a machal yantif sheni. So Dr. Shlomo Zaman, no, you could because, um, <coughs> because first, of, first of all, there is the day of the Rambam and the Shah. The Shah Paskins, anyway, you do it on Yantav Shani. And it's a mitzvah, Shiloh Mitzvah Deraisa. And Dr. Shlomo Zaman, that were mitzvah of the sheet of the Chacham Tzvi. The Chacham Tzvi holds that if you're in Eretz Israel, you do like the Israelis, that you keep one day. And Rosh Shlomo Zaman was mitzvah of that of Eretz Vegas. If you look in the Sefer, it will be Makas, but he said, Rabbi Yasha was never mitzvah of that. It's actually Shitaso. He held you never mitzvah of the Chacham Tzvi sheet of any shells of, of Yantav Shani. But Shlomo Zaman held you did, sir. Rishlam Azam with Paskins, if you can't get an Israeli mall, an American mall can do the bris in Eretz Yisrael, and Rishlam Azam says you can't. If you're in America, Rabbi England, if you're in America, and your baby's born, and you have a good a neighbor who's, who's here just for a year, and he's going back to Eretz Yisrael, he keeps one day mamish, except he keeps the halachas of, you know, what he has to keep as, it, as a Israeli in America. So all the svarim that I saw in print say you cannot, he cannot do it. I'm almost positive. I saw somewhere before there were Shlomo Zalman Paskins on that case as well. He can do it. But who has to know? Who has to know? The baby was born, Bainash Marshes, whatever, etc. But I couldn't find that now. So the only thing I could find, if I could find now, anyone I, I saw says that if it's in America, Yom Tashani, even if the mole is an Israeli, but he's not allowed to do Malacha and even Mitzina, and therefore the bris would have to be pushed off to the next day.